Hey everyone! I wanted to give you all a video update on what's been happening with me. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel and just discovering me with this video for the first time, my name is Spotter and I through hiked the Appalachian Trail this year. I started uh, March 20th and finished July 31st and I had uh, some some issues while out on trail and that's kind of what I was going to be updating everybody about. Um, so. For those of you who do know, um, this is about my foot, obviously you could tell based on my thumbnail. For those of you who don't know, um, about around mile 400 I started having a lot of foot pain. Uh, by mile 500 it was really pretty bad. Um, I ended up switching out shoe models, which helped significantly, but the foot pain never did go away. I suspected plantar fasciitis as well as a stress fracture in my right foot, um, plantar fasciitis in both feet, but um, I didn't want to go get it checked out, call me foolish, call me stupid, call me whatever you'd like, but I didn't want to end my hike because this has been a, a long dream of mine and a goal and I wasn't going to let anything stand in my way and I said it before I left, unless I have a broken leg and I can physically not walk, I'm finishing the trail this year. So I was able to walk and so I kept going and then when I did get home, I did go immediately to my podiatrist and he did diagnose me with plantar fasciitis. Um, I did have to have an MRI done to figure out what was going on with my foot because nothing showed up in the x-ray. So we get the MRI back and it turns out I did have a stress fracture, like I thought, and he did state that it was unlikely but there was a small possibility that I had vascular necrosis which basically means bone death, but he said the MRI um, states that it's very unlikely and so he treated me for the stress fracture, which was putting me in a boot for five weeks and then a surgical shoe for two more weeks. Um, and x-rays started showing it because once it heals, it starts showing the calcification of the fracture. So by the end of the seven weeks that I was in a boot and shoe, it showed it was healed. So he said, all right, let's transition you back to your normal footwear. So I did. However, from the day I left my appointment for about a week, I was having constant, you know, foot pain. So I ended up calling him back and we got another appointment to come in and he ordered another MRI. And so I got that MRI results back. And unfortunately, it is a vascular necrosis. I did have a stress fracture, but I also had the necrosis and it showed that it increased since the two months prior, which makes sense because I was still walking on it, um, even with the boot and that. So he decided that I needed to be non-weight bearing for at least a month. So they put me in the cast with crutches and now I'm miserable. <laughs> And so, um, we'll see how that goes, but I guess I'm a little frustrated because, and it's not my doctor's fault, he went based on what the MRI report said, um, but I'm a little frustrated that if we would have put me non-weight bearing from day one, um, it's possible it could have been healed by now. He speculates it should heal on its own since it was due to trauma, which was me walking, you know, 1700 plus miles on a fractured foot. Um, so he does think it'll heal on its own and should not need surgery. However, if surgery is required, that would be basically like a bone graft or implanting, um, what do you call it, like fake bone in its place and taking out the dead bone. So hopefully it does not come down to that. <laughs> Cross your fingers for me, everybody. Um, so that's what happened on my through hike. And do I regret continuing on my hike after knowing all this? Not one single bit. Not one single bit. Um, even knowing what I know now, I still would have done the same thing. Every single time. That's just because that's who I am. And uh, But it is a cautionary tale for people who this hike doesn't mean that much to them. <laughs> Don't continue hiking when you think you have a stress fracture for 1,700 miles. Come off trail, get it fixed, come back another year. But I was not about to do that. Um, so that's the story with that. And 
Um, I am having surgery next month for something totally different. Um, so, it, unfortunately, my hiking season ended as soon as I came home from my through hike due to my foot. And now that I have all this going on, I'm not even able to walk. <laughs> so, it's going to be a while before you guys see another hiking video from me. Unfortunately, I was supposed to go to the Smokies at the end of this month with my friend Faze, too, if you guys remember him from my videos. Um, we were supposed to do um, a several night backpacking trip, and obviously I had to cancel that. So, I'm really really bummed about it but what can you do I gotta heal and so I'm going to actually do what I'm supposed to do now that I'm home um, but yeah so that was basically my update and um, if you have any other questions feel free to leave a comment I'll try to answer whatever I can as best as I can and I don't know what my next video is gonna be maybe um, hopefully after a month when I I'm assuming he's going to want to do another MRI. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'll let you guys know what ends up happening with my foot. So, all right. Till next time. Bye, guys.